communicating these changes and communicating the, the differences to the client, however, is, is, is still a challenge. Uh, you use this spreadsheet to show these little arrows and explain what I just explained to you. It, it might not go through to the customer and to the owner well and uh, might not understand, they might not understand the implications of the changes. So by using Cost Explorer, as I mentioned earlier, you'll be able to break down your budget using these, uh, using these visual clues. So here you've got the, uh, the budget itself for the building, and when I click on the plus sign, I can see the different uh, headings for my budget, in this case the substructure, the shell, interiors, services, etc. And as I further dr drill down into the uh, estimate itself, you can see that when I'm on target and, and I'm doing fine, I have these nodes show up with green color. When I'm within a certain range, I have a yellow color. When I'm suspiciously low on certain budgets, I've got a blue color. And when I'm over budget, I have a red color. So I know exactly where I'm over budget. In this case, uh, I'm over budget in in, uh, on my uh, labor estimate, but generally I'm still doing okay on the entire estimate. However, I have not priced the con concrete material, rebar, and, um, and uh, concrete uh, equipment yet. So I would need to price these. I might go over budget. In that case, this node would automatically turn red, and I'd be able to communicate that change to the client right away. I can combine these views of the model. Um, I can create my own dashboard. Uh, I could include a 3D view, a breakdown of the estimate of the quantities in one dashboard view, and if I click on any of the views, it will highlight the appropriate elements. So the VECO Office environment provides you with the full transparency of quantities, <laughs> estimates, and uh, the 3D model itself. And finally, you can generate uh, different kinds of reports. In this case, I just uh, generated a report in, uh, in an Excel spreadsheet where you can see uh, the list of quantities um, from uh, exported from the uh, VECO environment that you, you can import into, uh, into other estimating systems if, uh, if, you, if you would like to use another estimating system for, uh, for final pricing or uh, use it as a printout and include it in your GMP. So that's the uh, process in a nutshell. We basically started with model-based quantities. We linked those model-based quantities to uh, line items in our estimate. Uh, in our estimate, we were able to track changes and highlight where different uh, uh, cost items are over target. And then we were able to create a report uh, and export the information into, into other estimating systems as well. The, there is uh, typically a disconnect between pre-construction estimating and uh, field cost control. And by uh, establishing a strategic partnership uh, with CMIC, we are going to be able to export all the cost information and quantity information from the model into a, uh, an accounting system and use that accounting system to, to monitor uh, invoicing, to monitor payroll, et cetera. That system will not just serve as a system during pre-construction, but it also will serve as a system during construction. So the uh, pre-construction and construction phases will be connected through the VECO office uh, interface. This will also help you create not only a more reliable estimate initially, but it will also help you track information at a higher level of detail and capture cost, capture quantities at a higher level of detail for your historic database. So in, in summary, the benefits of using a model-based system for estimating is that you can explore the scope and understand the scope of a project a lot faster, a lot easier which in turn will enable you to negotiate with subcontractors more efficiently. If you understand the scope to the same level of detail that the sub understands it, you will not have any disputes about quantities. You will not have any disputes about uh, different line, item, line items in their quotes. Uh, you will be able to facilitate a more transparent interaction with the owner. 
you'll be able to help the owner understand where the different cost changes come from. And this um, increased transparency will um, help the general contractor become a trusted partner with the owner. Uh, you'll be able to extend the estimate to cost control and uh, build a database of actual costs and use those actual costs for estimating uh, a new project. So you'll be able to track cost historically at a higher level of detail and eventually estimate more accurately on new projects. 